everyone this is Curtis with We Whack Along Care. Hey today in this video I'm going to tell y'all about uh, well a customer uh, had contacted me what they did was they emailed me about their lawn. Uh, they, in the email what it is they wanted to reschedule service due to the fact they said that I cut the lawn too low the last time that I cut it and they had some brown spots in the lawn from me cutting it and it was just right in the front area and so I thought about that and I was like what now we're going on two weeks a lot of things can happen within two weeks you know a lot I mean two weeks you never know but you're gonna get blamed for it so uh, I'm you know I'm reading an email I'm reading an email and I'm thinking about this I'm thinking about it and I'm like wait a minute I say is it my fault no, it ain't my fault. I cut grass low all the time. But what can happen in a lawn like that is that the customer has said that they had, uh, in reading the email, I had to read it a number of times, read it over and over. And so now the, 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 the customer had, uh, in the email, now I sent them some information back, but I'm going to tell y'all how this go after they sent me some after they after I sent them some information about the lawn and they uh, sent me an email back but after I, they got the information from me but, but, but let me let me explain to you what happened let me, let me explain to you what it, what it was okay when they this is after okay when they told me that they had uh, some brown spots I was like what and, and, and remember what I see in two weeks a lot can happen so what happened was I went over and uh, I had the more set at a four and I, I tried cutting it at a four and some areas were high some areas was low so I said well you know this is not really doing anything on this four so I drops it down to a three that's low as I'm gonna go is that a three so I cut it at three right I'm cutting it on this three and uh, while cutting it on the three, you know, I'm leveling everything off. But I notice in the front area, it's real low. So it's really not even touching it on a, uh, a three. So, you know, in that area, what I done was I just took the trimmer and I trimmed up around the flower beds and uh, edged them up and sidewalk and everything. Meanwhile, I mowed the whole lawn, the front and the back on a three. Done it before. And uh, never no problems. Remember what I said, y'all. We're getting to it. I said in two weeks a lot can happen. So I go along. I'm like, okay. So everything normally stays the same after me mowing the lawn and all. So I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. So you're blaming me because you're saying that you're getting some brown spots on your lawn. And I'm like, I know if it's a certain time that when you mow the lawn, that if it's like 95 or 105 and you're cutting the thing too low, then yeah, it, it will scorch the grass because, you know, it's cut too low and it can't hold any moisture. And, you know, to keep it, what can I say, to keep it, uh, you know, a little wetness in there. So that it doesn't dry the grass out all the way. Well, thinking about it, thinking about it, you know, I'm thinking about well, what would cause all these brown spots in their lawn. So uh, I'm thinking about this, and I'm like, a lot can happen. You can overwater the lawn, and uh, the water is sitting there, and it's drying. The sun is drying, and it draws the rays to it, and it's drying, and it will uh, create a brown spot you can have insects in it and it will uh, you know insects can be eating the grass earthworms they can eat the grass and eat the roots and that will cause some brown spots so I'm thinking you know I cut a lot of lawns and I'm like now here's one they're thinking because I cut it too low and it was already low and I and I stated that in my email when I emailed all this information back to the customer that it was already low 
and I was I cut it at three inches all over. But it's only brown in uh one spot one area it's only brown in this one area and i'm like well if for me cutting it low and it was already low wouldn't it be brown in all over the yard i mean i cut the sides i cut the back all of that's green but it's just this one area now you stating that that is uh getting uh you getting brown spots in it so i'm like something ain't right you know, I'm thinking to myself, I'm something ain't right. So, meanwhile, you know, they they want the uh, the council service for this week, and so I'm like, okay, that's fine, that's fine. And so, but I emailed them back because normally it's like, you know, when you're doing this stuff, it's like, is it something that you did? And I'm like, why? And why is it now the time to mow it again that I'm hearing from you? And when I when you notify me right after I left or last week or you know a whole week done went by so now all of a sudden you getting these brown spots so I'm like I don't know I don't know I'm thinking about this I'm thinking about it. I'm like what's done happen did it rain did they put out some kind of chemical did they put out some kind of poison or what or did they do some roundup or any kind of grass killer or something for anything like that to happen so, you know, I, 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 uh, I was thinking about it, and I was thinking about it. And I'm like, man, I said I done cut a lot of lawns. I don't cut them low. No, I like keep them at three. Three's about like I said, like I said it earlier. Three's about low as I'm gonna go. I don't go no lower than three. I don't cut it no two. I don't cut it no one. No, nah, that's just scalping and tearing up your mower. Why well, strain your mower? You don't need to strain your mower. You keep that thing right at a three. Just going to run over the top. That's going to be low enough for it. You don't need to uh-uh. Other than that, you're just cutting against the ground. For what? You don't need to cut that low. Three is low as I'm going. I'm not going to tear up my mower. You know, no. Three, four. Cut it right there. I'm like, no. But anyway, I got to see y'all. I was thinking about this and thinking about it. And I'm like, something ain't right. So... I let the customer know all the information that uh, I found about brown spots, you know, in the lawn and what can cause it. And I mean, it can be the weather, humidity, moisture due to heat. All of this stuff can relate to a problem within your lawn. So I'm thinking about this and I'm like, hmm. Okay, and, I, and then I say, you know, sometimes it can be some kind of contamination. Anything can be in there and cause a problem. So, oh yeah, I mow the lawn and I also bag. While I'm mowing, I'm bagging all the clippings and everything. But then I was just puzzled because I mow a lot of lawns and I've been doing this over and over and over and over and over and over and over for years. So I done mowed a lot of lawns. But then, here it is, you, you're, you're telling me because I mowed the line, and I'm like, it hasn't been that hot here. I mean, it's been cool, and we got a few days where it's, you know, got up to about 90, you know, but not just staying. It drops back down to 60, you know, meaning, you know, 58, then it comes back up. Then, you know, 75, then around 80, and then it gets up to 90 again. But nothing it has been just consistent. It stay around maybe like 80 at night sometimes. But nothing really consistent with some wind blowing. Keeps it cool, you know, nice and cool and everything. And you'll sweat a little bit. It's getting a little warm. But, uh... Like I said, y'all, I was thinking about this. and So, what I done was I emailed the customer back with all the information on what can possibly uh, cause the lawn to turn brown. So, I said, well, it could be some type of contamination into the soil, uh, something or other, or it could have too much, uh, what's that, nitrogen that's in there. could be too strong, and that can cause it to... Uh, 
get uh brown dried out or something other too strong so thinking about that you know so and then I, you know I let the customer know I know you know if there's any type of contamination sometimes what I would try is uh, try some washing powder or dishwasher soap put all over the area where that is brown and that would kind of help uh, dissolve any type of contamination with that washing powder or dishwasher soap it will uh, basically wash it up out of there or get it out of there or any kind of uh, we'll say insects or earthworms could be eaten at the root of the grass it will uh, well that washing powder is kind of warm you water it and it will uh, basically uh, it get was it was out in there out of there if there's some type of fungus or something in that nature then it possibly will will get that up out of there uh, these are just something I have tried and it have worked for me uh, using it out in the lawn and you know grass gets back green and you know whatever contaminants or whatever it was down there working on the roots or whatever it uh, made it go away what I want to say it made it go away and everything got back to normal in the lawn so meanwhile guys I took and uh, emailed the customer back and told him it was fine and we rescheduled for next week with all this information well the customer emails me back and say that she had uh, fertilized her lawn Sunday bingo so what happened it was warm Monday and also it was warm Sunday so she got out there in the middle of the day and put out some grangles not watering them in and they were sitting there all day in that hot heat in one spot what was it gonna do the grangles gonna lay on top of the ground in the grass it's gonna get hot and it's gonna burn the grass and you're gonna get some brown spots all over your lawn but since the customer did this you know they feel that because I cut it it was cut to no it wasn't my fault so you know I wanted to analyze the situation to see what was what and when the customer emailed me back that I knew exactly what had done happened the customer had then went out there and uh, fertilized the lawn she emailed me back and told me what it was she wanted to reschedule and wanted me to come this week which totally messed me up because I had rescheduled someone else for Friday so now I gotta go back and put her back into the schedule system because you know she wants me to come on because of something that the customer had done in the lawn and then they want <laughs> you know the lawn person gonna get blamed for something that somebody else has done and they don't know that they put it out there and I'm like you know if you put it out there you'd have to water those grangles in real good or you had to put them out at night and then water it in but if you put it out there early in that morning and did not water that lawn and those grangles were sitting on top of the ground on the grass you're gonna get some brown spots because the grangles got hot and it burnt the grass and that's what it probably happened what I would say because I hadn't heard them from the customer a whole week done went by so now we're looking at two weeks and it's my time to come and mow the lawn and I get an email for a reschedule I, I I tell you but you have to be thorough on this you have to be like I say always on your uh, P's and Q's and do your due diligence is it something that you did or is it something that they did and a lot of times they're not gonna own up to it but this one by me emailing and she emailed me back but she had put some fertilizer out there and then she emailed me about these brown spots because I was like that don't make any sense to me it doesn't make any sense to me because from the experience that I have I've, I've seen this happen over and over and over where somebody put out some type of uh, a chemical pesticide fertilizer or something other and something goes wrong in the lawn and then you come along and then you are blamed for it <laughs> I tell you on the, and then it'd be something that they did and then they may even get mad at you and blame you for something that they did but anyway guys 
I was just sharing this information with y'all and I hope that it helps someone. Uh, you know, in case you run across a problem like that, what to be aware of if something like that was happened to occur with you. So I'm just passing on some information, just sharing with you. And like always, I hope y'all out there grinding because, hey, listen, this is going to be short because we're in May and we got June, July, August, September, and October and it's over. So you got to grind hard as you can grind to get all you can get in within these few months that we have. So I'm out here trying. So right now what I'm going to do is get my 21 inch more loaded up into the bed of this truck and see if I can go and grind a little bit more here. I wish I had more room. I can have a 32 one because it's tiresome trying to walk more all these y'all. So I got 21 y'all. But due to the fact that I don't have no trailer, a trailer situation, I tell you, oh man, I missed the trailer. But it is what it is. And uh, I just got to do what I can do for the time being. <laughs> I tell you. But anyway, guys, I got to get going. I just wanted to share this little bit with you. And uh, I'm going to get back with y'all uh, here in a little bit. So uh, I'm going to sign off for, for right now. Let me, go, let me go get my more and get busy. I'll holler back at y'all. Take care. Bye.